Yo, what up, Kane fans? Now, I hate to come to y'all with this, man, because I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, it's word in the streets. Now, according to sources, Mario Cristobal and the whole organ organization is pushing their hardest to get hot sniff. Now, also, what I'm hearing is that at this moment in time, hot sniff will be going to Oregon. They will not be coming to Miami. Now, hopefully that change. I don't even know, you know, what's going to happen. But from what I'm hearing, boosters are behind getting Highsmith down here. Now, there's been reports that Manny Diaz does not want Highsmith down here. We've all been hearing that. Manny Diaz has already reached out to other boosters to try to keep that away from happening. That's the rumor. Can't say it's true or not, but that's what's floating around. That's what's in the atmosphere right now. Now, High Smith going to Oregon, what does that mean? Now, a lot of y'all were praying for Mario Cristobal to come to Miami. If High Smith, if High Smith is in Oregon, Cristobal ain't coming to Miami, plain and simple. And to be honest with you, we probably should put that Cristobal thing behind us because I don't think Miami will be buying out his contract from Oregon anyway. Also, now a lot of y'all been going back and forth about the Lorenzo Lingard thing too. Saying that, you know, hey, if you want to leave, let him leave. He's talking about being the best, um, you know, Florida Gator that he can be. He didn't even thank Miami when he left. Whatever it is, what it is. A lot of y'all been weighing in on the kid. Now, what you got to do, what you got to understand too is, man, the key word in this is kid. They're going to make their own decisions. They're going to do what they want to do. It's his life. If you want to go be a Gator, let him go be a Gator. He ain't affecting Miami. We don't play the Gators. We ain't got to see him. Last time we played the Gators before before this season just passed was when? Probably what? Um, don't even remember. Anyway, but Georgia. Georgia Bulldog. I got a lot of Georgia Bulldog fans that's telling me how, you know, they got all these great talent. Georgia just signed the um, number one cornerback in the country. Now, we all know Georgia. Georgia's, um, Georgia's a talent dump, man. Talent dump. These guys come here, come to Georgia for about maybe three, four years, solid, no championship, no SEC championship. Let's be real, because they only won the SEC championship one time in 15 years. So us not winning the ACC championship always be their um their go-to. Well, you guys are in this bad conference, but you can't win, bro. We've been in this conference about 15 years. Y'all won y'all conference one more time than we did. So can we just put that in the in the back of y'all brains real quick? Humble yourself. <laughs> Anyways, but. This Highsmith situation, man. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about um, Alonzo Highsmith going to Oregon? Like I said, it's not 100%. It's not 100%. But that's what's being passed around, that he will sign with Oregon. That Oregon is basically giving him what he wants. You know, giving him the chance to come in there and run the program the way he would like to. They believe in him. Now, Blake, Blake, I don't think Blake want Highsmith in there because he thinks that he's going to come in there and shake, shake things up a little bit. I know for a fact that Manny Diaz, he can't take that heat right now. With that season, that six and six, six and seven, sorry, that six and seven season that we just came off right now, I don't think Manny can take that heat either. But we just hired um, Reed Lashley. Now the question is, will Reed will Reed be coming in with his own guys? Because if he does, somebody got to go. We got people on the offense that Enos brought in, so we will um. Will Lashley be retaining any of them? <clears throat> At this moment, we don't know. Will he be bringing his own guys with him, though? If he does, those guys that's already here, they got to go. Most of us, can't. As, as bad as it sounds, most of us would not miss them if they leave right now. Let's just be real. The offense was that bad that we couldn't defend them. The only person... Nah, I, I, I can't say keep nobody. I'm sorry. The offense was too atrocious this year. Now, when Lashley come in... He's gonna run his own. Is he gonna be able to run his offense to the fullest, or is Manny Diaz gonna make interference, like telling him what players to play, when to play him, or whatever? Is he gonna come in and pick a solid quarterback and run behind him? Now, a lot of us also been talking about his spread offense, cause I've been watching some Miami Hurricane. I, I forgot the guy's name. I think it's Rom Romans or somebody, something like that. I forgot his name. Forgive me for that. But he's been showing clips, basically, of you know Lashley's offense. The spread offense and you know 
what it means for the quarterback, the linemen, the receivers, the tight end, the running backs, you name it. So which one of our quarterbacks at this moment, if nobody transfers, will this system fit the best? Most people are leaning towards Nikosi Perry. Now, Tyler, Tyler Van Dyke coming in, whatever, he a pro-style quarterback. What does that mean for him? Who does he fit into the system? Right now, these are all questions that's being passed around. Like, eventually we'll have answers to it, but this is what it is. We gotta wait till practice. We gotta wait till spring games, and then eventually, eventually game time. So, let me know what y'all think, man. Everything I just told you. Let me know what y'all think.